just pulled out of out of the ass of someone. It's just uh, it's just taken for a fantasy book someone wrote, or what? What is the meaning of it? What is it derived from? You agreed with me that it wasn't real five minutes ago. You remember that? And it's not real because it's i it's idealized. It's not real because I'm asking it's you what not it is actually not. happening. I'm asking, I'm asking you what it is. And what it is derived from, what its meaning is, um, what its uh, meaning not is. I'm asking you what its meaning is. So I, I would say that we know there's a gradient, and in the absence of any like severe or really steep, abnormal steep gradients within your, your optical corridor, in that that condition, you would apply standard refraction to your observation. Well, I've been here patiently waiting for an explanation from AK what standard refraction is. I've been here sitting here patiently waiting. You think we can get it, AK? Isn't that their seven over six? Uh, no. If Jeremy stops claiming he knows all about it uh, without being able to explain any of all of it, then uh, in a in a non-circular fashion, then we can move on. Yes. I have no, but it you, in a I want circular fashion. Can I respond yeah, when he tries to play? Can I respond when he tries to play, play me? Or with idealized. That's that's uh. the, that's as far as you got. <clears throat> it's not a whole lot of substance you added. I told you it's not real because it's not the the gradient's not uniform. It's not actually happening. Not real. Idealized. Uh, okay. How do, how else okay. do you want me to explain that? I don't. There's no other way to explain that other than exactly what I just said. You explain idealized with idealized. You have. Hey, hey, uh, I did. I did not explain. Hold on, Dicewell. I did not explain idealized with idealized. I told you idealized means not real because it's not actually. It means happening. ideal. Stop That's trying to play me, dude. That's not what I said at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. AK, okay, you're, you're no, coming. I said it's not. I have not given any substance, Hold on, guys. Jeremy. Hold on. That's, that's Hold on. it. Okay. AK, you have not given any substance. AK, you can you hear me? Anymore. I'm trying to moderate. You're talking all over Jeremy, bro. He's trying to explain himself, and before he can finish, you're already chiming in, dude. He's repeating himself. Yeah, because he he's making he's sense. Not adding to the conversation, he's you're, repeating you're, listen, himself and pointing I'll, it out. Listen, I'll rephrase it. There's I'll no point it. to him. What is actual is not potential until it's actualized. Okay, and that's what he's telling you. What is actual? Two different things. Potential until it's actualized. That that's a very unhinged. How so? <laughs> to say right now. <laughs> so because it's it very generalized <laughs> and. Very loosely connected to what we're talking okay, about. Okay, here's your chance, the brother. Is much more discreet AK. Right now. AK, everyone's listening, bro. Here's your chance. Please bro. Set, set us all straight on what standard refraction is, brother. Go ahead, the floor is yours. Tell him, brother. Right, the standard refraction is refraction that, hap uh, that happens uh, according to the standard atmosphere and what we know about the optical. Uh, about the refraction index of air under the uh, under uh, according to pressure, humidity, and temperature. Then the standard atmosphere is a set of variables uh, for uh, the air outside in nature, dependent on altitude. That is uh, is commonly found over big altitude differences. Hey, that what was did you not, say? That was not correct. Hold on, to commonly find. I'm going next, and guys. Obviously, due to weather and uh, pressure systems, uh, due to weather in, in general, basically, you have quite a big variation over, especially short altitude differences, and quite a bit variation over um, uh, the closer you get to to the ground. Okay, so here's what it actually is. This is a so this is a site a. Definition or citation I'm reading. This is what actually what standard refraction is. It's the refraction that would take place in an idealized atmosphere where the relative refractive index is reduced uniformly. We don't have it reducing uniformly. It's not ideal. It's not this ideal atmosphere like that. And it's what would take place. So it's not actually taking place there. Standard atmospheric refraction doesn't even actually happen in your model because the thing that there's the thing that it's all about the definition I just read is not even happening. 
It's a bold claim. Again, definition did not nothing to back it up. <laughs> you, you said it's what stuff. happens. You said it's what happens. But I, what I read is the refraction that would TML take place life in an idealized atmosphere, atmosphere which we don't have. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not the same thing because you said it's happening, and I, this citation is saying it's not happening because <laughs> it's what would take place in an idealized atmosphere where the refractive index, index is reduced uniformly, which we, which we don't have. So you're taking issue with uh, smoothing out the actually very uh the actually um this one guy is not from, very he's not very uh, good at uh talking so it's it's air, not making him look good like, uh, in air. Um, <coughs> to an idealized uh to uh, idealize it to a smooth continuous gradient and you're taking issue with that you take you say oh this is not actually happening actually we have Every piece Boy, of smooth, the, huh? every, every little piece of air is suave is under slightly different conditions than the. the, the Could you say it any more clunky, please? Thanks. Uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. So some the standard. So for the standard refraction, what they do is say, okay, so the standard refraction is this: it's seventy-two degrees. It's at this humidity, and at this, and this composition of the air. So like they know. The atmosphere at different levels has different compositions of air, which is why there's why which is why the altitude matters. But they set a standard for the humidity, so that's what they're saying the standard refraction is at this humidity, at this temperature, with this air composition. This is the standard refraction, and then oh. when you're at a different location that has different humidities, different temperatures, that deviates from the standard. It's not that no, that's complicated. Not correct. It's not complicated, and that's not correct. I actually question. read, I actually just read it off, and the thing you guys are saying is not what this definition is saying. It's right. it's the so refraction that would. Where are you getting this definition from, Jeremy? The refraction that would take place. Out of your asshole. Would take yeah. Place in an idealized atmosphere. We don't have. I pulled the definition out of my ass. So do it. That's so, Jeremy, why I, they I define. The that's what they define. They define what the standard atmosphere is. This this level of humidity, this temperature level, this composition of the atmosphere. That's the mainly, standard. Mainly temperature. Negative. Negative. And lapse rate. Lapse rate is the main thing. Just to make sure I, I understand you correctly, you're taking issue with the fact uh, with with it being idealized, <laughs> so that the reflection. Or the atmosphere is smoothed out to have continuous, uh, uniform uh, development. Right? Now, do you disagree with the citation I read? So you're taking issue with that, right? Do you disagree with it? Before we go any farther, do you disagree you take, with it, or is you're that taking correct? issue with that? Do you disagree with Jeremy, it, or is it correct? You fail to this is not relevant to my define... question, Jeremy. Please ask me, ask, answer my question. This is a yes or no question. Should be okay. Not answered. Okay, after that, I have a question for you that you, you're going to answer. Okay, go ahead. Ask yours, and then I'll ask mine. I asked you two times already. Did you not listen? No, he wasn't listening. Go ahead. Can you ask it a third time, or are we just done here? Please, he wasn't listening to you. But you're taking issue that with, itself with, was a question uh, right there. with regards to standard reflection is that the standard atmosphere is idealized in the sense that it's, it's, uh, it's turbulent nature in general. Is smoothed I out. I thought this was a yes or no. I don't know. Is that you what you're for... taking issue with? Is that I'm why taking you're issue... not here? No. Yes. I don't know, dude. I can you rephrase <laughs> your question more? No. Than yes. Two? Guys, don't over talk him the whole way. The way he's at the whole time he's asking me, please. Okay. So the, fair the point there. Like you were saying the, the standard reflection is not real. Um, is because it's the, 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 the standard atmosphere is an idealized atmosphere in the sense that uh, uh, smooths out its ter the turbulent nature of air to continuous gradients. That is the issue that yeah. you're taking, right? Yes. Duncan, now, here's you're, my you're question. My... Now, here's my question. Ah. I'm done. I'm done. I gotta go. Hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. Let Jeremy and AK go for five minutes. Nobody else talk. Go ahead, guys. You got five minutes on your own. Nobody else talk. Okay. Nobody. There's the only thing the I agree with them about is, yes, is that they, they try and let people actually talk about, like, let them say what they want to say. 
they don't just like like there, there's one thing they do is at least let you say something without people cutting you off even if they don't agree with what you're saying yes can i ask you another question then? well hold on let me can i expand on that though because if, if you agree with the citation i read that means it's the refraction that would take place in an idea we don't have an idealized atmosphere so that refraction can't take place because you need an idealized atmosphere for that right that's correct. So you said right. That's, that's correct. Again, that's exactly what my question is uh, is going. Oh, hold on. Did you did you say? Uh, hold, are you hold saying? On. I'll answer your question. Hold on. I'll answer your question. But did you answer mine? Did you say yes? That's correct. It's not actually happening. And I, I don't see that as, as reasonable. No. So so you're saying we do have an idealized atmosphere that no, I'm also not uh, reduced that. reduces yeah. uniformly with height. No, I'm also not saying that. So we don't have this idealized atmosphere where refraction would take place at, you're saying, right? How many more questions do you want to ask me before I get to I, it? I'm just trying to get this, this straightened out because your questions are, are asking about yeah, I, this yeah, thing. But you know what? I, I was actually pointing out that what I was going to ask you is going uh, to point towards that. So it okay. would be a strong indicator that this would further the conversation instead of just repeating what has been just said. How about that? Okay, well, go ahead. Then I'll go after you. Go ahead. We'll take turns. Go ahead. Ask your question, right. and I'll ask Thank mine. Go ahead. So, we'll, yeah. I, are you are you suggesting that something or a certain understanding of um, an aspect of reality being idealized makes it useless? For example, the ideal gas law doesn't uh, uh, treat actual gases. The the um, standard atmosphere idealizes a turbulent air to smooth gradients. Does that mean no, that I never said it. Therefore? Nope, I never said it's useless. I said it's not actually happening. Just like ideal gas, just okay. like this, just like this standard refraction, it's but, not actually but happening. My say, turn now. My, is it my turn now? Is it my turn now? Hold on, man. It's not useless, dude. We they can't go back and forth on, like this. It was my there. turn. It was my yeah, turn, dude. Ahead. Yeah, it was my turn. You, you want to lead me? Do you want to lead me for two minutes and then I'll lead you for two minutes? We could do it no, like that. Because, Otherwise, we got to take turns with the question. You're repeating yourself. You, I have heard you saying all of that uh, all the time already. You can move on and dig into what you're saying. There seems to be a pattern yeah, here. I'm trying I'm to finding. dig into what I'm saying, but it's not going to happen when you're being... And repeating yourself is not useful to that. So I'm not repeating myself. I'm trying to get you to... it's not actually happening, but... You... But you're not saying it's actually. Hey, hold on, hold on, NK. Let me mod. Hold on, hold on. Stop talking. If, stop if talking, the bro. Is not used. Listen, AK, this is how, this how it's going to happen, right? Either you're going to do this properly or you're going to put you on mute for the rest of the day. You're going to have a conversation with Jeremy back and forth. You're not going to tell him what to say or what he can't say. You're going to speak, then he's going to speak like tennis. Otherwise, you're going to go on mute. That's it. Um, short thing, we were put on a timer here, and uh, he is repeating over and over what he already stated, which is not useful time to spend when you're on a timer with back and forth. He can say and do whatever he wants, and so could you. Yes. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. Don't repeat what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we agree that this yeah, ideal... So we both agree that this ideal atmosphere is not happening in reality, right? No, we don't quite agree, actually. So you're saying this idealized atmosphere is happening? I was actually asking happening. you about that. I was actually asking you about this. You're saying it's not useless, but it's not actually happening. So what is the usefulness of the statement, it's not actually happening? Because we're talking about what standard refraction is, so we're getting down into the definition of this, and it, and it has to do with a an idealized atmosphere where the refractive index is reduced uniformly with height. Why Wait. are you saying it's not? Why are you keep do you keep reiterating and emphasizing that it's not actually happening? And when you both agree that the idealization that we're using in order to understand the matter is not useless. It doesn't matter if it's useful or useless or not. We're talking about what's actually happening in reality, right? No. 
we are talking about what you can actually deter determine about reality and for that we can use those as you have admitted to uh, concepts that use idealization yeah we're talking about what standard refraction is and we're right in the midst of what it is it, what it is is at a what it is is the the refraction that would take place in an idealized atmosphere so if you're saying the standard refraction is happening in reality you need an idealized atmosphere where the refractive index is reduced uniformly with height, right? According to what you're saying, standard refraction also can't be 7 over 6 r because if we observe, a, 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 if we observe um, a refraction of 7 over 6 r in reality, then we would that would be uh, standard refraction according to what you first define standard refraction as. But now you you're defining standard refraction in a way that it can never be actually observed in reality because uh, its definition relies on a smooth on an idealization of of turbulent air that uh, that is not actually smooth. So what your standard refraction is not actually happening because we don't live in an idealized atmosphere? Is that what you just said? Well, I'm pointing out that the, the first time I asked you what standard refraction is and you gave me a formula that could be observed in, in principle, is in, con in conflict with how you're defining uh, or, un or understanding uh, standard refraction now. And I am still pointing out that is the emphasis that you're putting on this understanding is entirely useless because you keep reiterating that it's not actually happening in reality and it can never actually happen to this exactness in reality. But we will all still agree that the concepts and descriptions are useful. And I don't understand why we couldn't just use those concepts, the usefulness of those concepts and descriptions uh, within the context that they were sensible to apply and just be conscious that um, mathematics, the conception of things, is not the reality of itself. If we change a number on, on a sheet of paper, it doesn't warp reality around. That, that, that Am I supposed to respond to this? Sense, is there a point in there I'm supposed to respond to? I thought you were done, man. Holy shit, dude. I'm just going to back out. Go yeah, ahead. The open point the point is that I keep pointing out it's useless. Oh, open it up, Essie, please. Out that it's oh, Jervy got, got destroyed. Concepts, which he got right. destroyed because he's leaving. Okay. That's their logic. Because if somebody leaves, then, then they got destroyed somehow. To concede, he's going to leave. Uh, to agree, you're just, you're just rambling at this point. Jeremy laid it out concisely. All right. He read the fucking definition. You can't answer the simple yes or no's. So I don't know, bro. It's it's kind of game over. I don't know, bro. I, I, I have a very simple like yes me. or no question yeah. for Jeremy, if you want. I have a very simple yes or no. Can the scientists define the ideal atmospheric conditions? You can, can they set them? You do. You can define anything you want. Right, so like when they define it, like they say, okay, so the standard atmosphere conditions is 70 degrees outside, this percentage of humidity, and this composition of the gases. That's yeah, the dude, standard. Dude, that's so, how I know you're... Yes. No, 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 hold on. Before you go on, that's how I know you're... No, confused. no. Because listen, no. this is how I know you don't know what you're talking about, though, because it doesn't have to okay. do with the temperature and, and pressure in one location. It has to do with the uniform reduction in that gradient with height. And why with height? Dude, because yeah, that's how they've yeah. defined it. I'm going to read it one more time because that's how they've defined it, dude. The refraction that would take place in an idealized atmosphere where the refractive index is reduced uniformly with height. Okay? I didn't make that up. That's the thing. I've read about 20 times in the past three minutes. Okay, but would you, so like, would you agree that the standard atmospheric pressure at the surface of Earth is whatever, 14, whatever? 14.7 PSI at sea level? Yeah, the standard. 
I wouldn't say it's always that. I mean, I'm sure you could go right. places at sea level where it's not 14.7. Exactly, but the standard pressure is that because that's like the average. So that's why they make that the standard. And that's okay. not standard refraction, though. I okay, but so so when they make a standard <laughs> ideal <laughs> atmosphere is for refraction, so they know all the variables that can that will make light refract at different ways. So they set a standard to go off of. So at 72 degrees, at this, at this height, at this, they have they that's the that's where that standard is met. It doesn't mean that that's exactly what's going to happen, but that's gonna, that's basically the average that they had. 